So you want to make the implementation of the actual Notion with the Google Calendar. This is amazing because we can do this. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to have your Notion already being created. And what you want to do is to have another tool, another tab where you have your Gmail already opened. So if I go here into my calendar, as you can see, we do have different tools here. And today I don't have anything yet. So what I want to do is to leave this like that and go back into Notion. So here into Notion, if you don't have an account, if you don't have anything yet, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys. It's going to be really, really easy to create your account. And I can strongly recommend you to create your account using a Google account because it's going to be really, really easy to merge that and the integration of the actual Google Calendar is going to be much more easier. So once you do that, I'm going to get into logged in and here is my own stuff. So there you have it, guys. So now what I want to do is to go into the very first part of that and here into templates. What you want to do is to try to look for something that can be available into your actual calendar. But in my case, I want to open a new tab. I want to look for Notion, uh, Hub, Google Calendar, like this, G Calendar. And here I might see the Notion Hub.net. So the Notion uh, Hub is a place where we can find ideas, we can find templates, premium templates, and we can contact them for more features. So this is a template that what I can do is to copy this template, I can make a duplication, and I can implement that into my Notion uh, private section. So the actual um, last thing that I just need to do is to configure it, configure it here, my actual Google into the Notion Hub. So it's going to be really, really easy. So I'm going to click into the dashboard with Para and Google Calendar. This is a template, of course. And here, as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking. The dashboard, projects, areas, resources, research. This is like just an example. And if you think this, this actually works for you, what you want to do is to actually look for this, um, this template so you can use that into your actual Notion. So what I want to do is to go into Notion once again. I'm going to get into the one workspace. And here I want to look for the Notion Hub. There we go. Here we do have templates. And here into templates, I want to scroll a little bit down like this. And I want to look for the one that we were looking before. This might be appearing in here. If you don't see that in here into the download, you can go back here into your Notion templates of the free Notion templates because this is uh, these are premium templates that, of course, you need to implement into your um, actual account. So as you can see, we do have the resume, we have the 100 days of code journal, we have the smart reading list Notion, the subscription tracker, the Notion reading tracked one, the 12th year planner, and the household task, the Notion finance tracker. I'm going to hit this option. And as you can see, here's the creator, here's the category, here are the different tasks. So uh, what you want to do is just to enable that. I'm going to hit into download. And there we go. So you have to hit into I want this like this. And just make sure that this one says zero dollars. Hit into I want this. I'm going to hit into the zero. Hit into I want this. And here's my card. And here I need the contact information in order for making the payment. So it's really important to choose the actual mail that you used for your Notion account hit into get and here it is the purchase was successful we sent a received to this email so click into the button below to open the notion template so i'm going to click in here and we are actually inside the actual stuff so what i want to do is to duplicate this actual planner so if you see that the dashboard and this one actually this integration is not working for you what you need to do is to download this when it says power so uh what i want to do is to open new tab and i want to look for power uh download 
and there's another application that you can use if you want to actually have this driver tools into your in integrations so in my case i actually used the one that says button so this one is going to be helping us to copy this google calendar meetings for notion really really useful so what you want to do is to try it and i'm going to hit in here and what you want to do of course is to download out this button as an extension so as you can see here is the extension is my button here so i'm going to click in here and here as you can see we do have some actions so what i need to do is to hit into the done mark, hit into the X mark like this. There we go, like that. So if I hit into the out of box, I'm gonna hit into create out of box, or you can choose marketing if you want to. We're gonna hit into create out of box, and here what you want to do is to create some actions for you in order to have this implemented to your Google Calendar. So get into, let's say for example, create some actions. Like I want to create a reminder in the Google Calendar. And here what I need to do is to hit into connect. So this one is gonna be sending me into the process section of my account. I need to of course grant the access. So I need to view and edit events on your calendars. See and download any calendars you can access using Google Calendar and hit into continue. And just like that, we are now able to do that into the connection of Notion and of course the Google Calendar. So once again, hit into create, create a reminder in Google Calendar and here is the name. So here I'll say for example, uh, post into YouTube like this and I'm gonna hit when, let's say today at midnight for duration one hour and participant, what you want to do is to leave it like that and here into the add input if you want to add another action and the repeating will go into the no and hit into done so here is the create a reminder in google calendar if i tap the add action what i want to do is to hit into the add activate the notion or find notion page so we're going to hit into connect here and i want to connect to my notion so when a scheduled event occurs starting at today at midnight, it's going to be appearing the find node pages from the database of weekly review with the title matching the I'm going to hit it done the YouTube videos, and by default it's going to be creating a reminder in Google Calendar and the name of the post on YouTube when and the duration of one hour. If I hit into done, let's see if this one has been created automatically. So I'm going to hit into activate now successfully scheduled this auto book will now run automatically so uh with that being said now we're actually good to go this is the way how you can do this and i'm going to go back here into my actual uh integration that appears in here and there you go so i'm going to look for the actual youtube and see if this one has been added of course into my actual calendar there we go by the reminder post youtube there we go. Really, really easy to do that, right, guys, to implement this uh, from Notion into Gmail. So with that being said, we've really reached into the last part of the video. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Leave me down your comments down below. And, well, I will see you on the next video. I'll see you soon.